This is what happens when you have an infestation of caterpillars. So everyone else has tried it. I'm gonna give it a try right now. The sunsets are always awesome here at McGregor Point. And that's how easy. That's why with these six gallon, oh, never mind. The only problem is, yeah, that's why nobody comes here anymore, right? He's right there, but he's not, oh, there he goes, run. It's a family of them. It is 9.58, we plan to leave at 10. What's, what's going on? Why are we early? Are we- it's only two minutes, ever we're only two early. minutes early, Dad. Yeah, that's but- pretty, usually That's, no, early. that's like half an hour early because normally we'd be like 25 after. We must be forgetting something. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are uh, going camping again. This is, this is a streak here. We're going to, McGregor Point this weekend. Then next weekend, we're going to a private campground where we've never been before called Knights Bridge. Knights Beach Resort. Knights Beach Resort. And then the weekend after that, the third weekend, we're going to Mikasu. Never been there either. So we haven't been to McGregor Point probably in about two years or so. So it'll be fun because we haven't been there in a while. And then the next two after this, we haven't been at all. So it should be even more fun. We're all packed up as you saw, and uh, it's raining. It's supposed to rain for the most part of the trip. Hopefully by the time we get up there, rain stops. Uh, it says two hours and 29 minutes it's gonna take for us to get there. So, shouldn't be any traffic, just uh, slow, probably with the weather and stuff, and we'll get there when we get there. We'll get a soft for lunch. about 40 minutes in we got about two hours left just under two hours it's pouring rain but we expected it uh, there was supposed to be rain the whole trip up there and then hopefully when we get up there around two-ish after we stop for lunch and stuff like that the rain should have passed by it's coming down pretty good now it's washing the trailer fairly well wearing a blue shirt today. It's white. I know, it's not blue. Well, white and black. Did you do that on purpose? No. <laughs> I did purposely not bring that shirt this week. We are here, McGregor Point. It took us two hours and 40 minutes. We took it nice and slow. It rained in portions and then it was just cloudy and no rain and then rain some more so off and on so we're in no rush stop for lunch and now we're half an hour before we can check in but i'm pretty sure we'll be able to. this time i'll show you guys but i'll tell you too at the same time this time we got a site it's they're called like double sites it's not a group site because they have group sites but they're not allowing people to have group sites with covid and everything but this is i think they call it a double site where you it's like one entrance and then it's like y-shaped and Darren can go on one side and I can go on the other side and it's like one big site but it's not a group site So we're here and I gave you a little setup treat, folks. So I, I missed it the last few ones. And I was saying when we were at Kilbear last week that, you know what, I, I should have done a setup, but I didn't. So that's the setup. Well, it wasn't really, okay. It was half of the setup. It was backing in, but we didn't show the, cause there's not much to set up. I mean, just leveling it, putting the awning out and then putting the, uh, the what's it called? The mat or the rug. And now they all come running in. After everything's done, after I do all the hard work, they come running in to take the 
cried at first. And what are you guys doing? Nothing. Oh. So, so yes. So this is. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's lemons. There's like there's six of them. I lemons counted. on the there's ground. Six. Why is that so fascinating? So, Why is that so fascinating? Someone, someone that was here last, <laughs> were either having like um, Long Island iced teas or something. But Julie thinks to seem seems to think they were. I see what she's doing. I'm done. I did my hundred. Oh, I didn't see it. I no, think you're lying. Tomorrow. You did a hundred push-ups and sit-ups. No, no, no. uh, oh, okay. Okay. Your wife made it sound like you have to do all in one day. Okay, it's dinner time and we spared no expense here. Just because you're camping doesn't mean you don't have to eat good. We've got ribs and salad and a little bit of macaroni. And Quentin doesn't have any ribs because he doesn't eat meat He's sometimes. Picky. But look at these delicious ribs we have. Julie, you want to take a bite for everyone at home? I took a bite and it's really good. Didn't think so. <laughs> Here, look. Mm, oh, that's so the uncooked piece. Mm. So we're down here for the sunset, and uh, you can see the sunset. The sunsets are always awesome here at McGregor Point. It's just something about it. The beach, the water, the Lake Huron, and the sunsets. It's a nice clear night, like I said. We finished ice cream, and uh, the kids are just doing uh, cheerleading jumps. But the mosquitoes are getting bad, so we're riding back to the campsite and we're start the campfire. They haven't touched me. They haven't touched me. Okay, and five minutes later, they got the fire going. Good fire, guys. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, they're really running. I only see one. Yeah, the others went. Yeah. He's right there, but he's not. Oh, there he goes, run. It's a family of them. So the workout weekend continues here. No, they're going to do it again. Come on, do it again. I did 50 push ups. You did 50? Okay. Every day, these guys, this family, this unnamed family, does uh, push ups, sit ups, planks, or something. Darren's just moving his elbows on his forehead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else moved. I have video evidence of that. Hey, what's going on? So we had an awesome day at the beach. The weather, once again, just like Kilbert two weeks ago, the weather, you couldn't ask for better weather. Probably like 25, 27 degrees, hot with humidity, but when you're down at the beach, you can't even tell, it's, it was awesome. Clouds are now starting to come in, but like it wasn't a cloud in the sky when we were, we were out there. The water was cold, but refreshing cold because it was so hot, so perfect. Now it's uh, dinner time, doing a little bit of uh, corn, corn on a cob. You usually do it on the barbecue. Um, we probably should have done it on the barbecue, but we're just doing it in the pot with the outdoor stove here and the outdoor kitchen. And then we're gonna have some uh, shish kebabs. If you hear that sound, if you hear that, that's the kids showering, or I think it was, that's Abby showering. That's just a pump going from the water. So we're having a good time. And then we're gonna, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can turn you around and show you. And then afterwards, that is the campfire. We're gonna go have a campfire after dinner. I don't know why I have the tongs in my hand. I just use my fingers. So, <laughs> you know what? This is what the third camping video in a row that <laughs> I'm showing you me cooking. So it's like it's like a cooking channel. This is not a camping channel or a Tesla channel. It's turned into like a cooking channel. <laughs> everything everything we do is like cooking while I'm talking. I had to cut that part out because Julie was bringing the stuff by, but she had something in her hair. 
Here she comes again. I'll just blur her out again. Blur. So I'm gonna cook these for about, um, they're, oh, I didn't tell you what they are. Um, they are chicken kebabs, like, like Slovakia chicken kebabs. So, or Slovakia, I guess. Is it ch Slovakia chicken kebabs or just chicken kebabs? I don't know what they're called. But anyways, that's what we're having for dinner, uh, along with the corn on the cob and some salad. And I don't need to tell you guys what we're having here. The mo mo most important part is we're at a McGregor Point and we're having a good time. This is what I was talking about, how I was saying it's a, not a group site, but a double site because it's like Y shaped. So you come in from, from there. It's like, that's where the main entrance and that's the roadway and stuff like that. You come in and then we have one site here and uh, Darren and Tammy have another site right there. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like splits and it's Y shaped. The only problem is, and um, McGregor Point, you should fix this, or Ontario Park, you should fix this. That is, I don't know if you can see in there, in the bushes there, that yellow thing, that's the uh, electrical box, the uh, 30 amp. But as you can see on the ground here, I have to run the my electrical across here because, let me show you, there are the kids and everything. Our campfire, is in the corner there. Uh, let me see if you can see it. Yeah, our campfire is in the corner there. So, really, you can't put the trailer over on this side because you'd be on top of the campfire, or your campfire would be behind the trailer. So you don't have a choice but to put the trailer here and then drape the cord all the way here. At least with Darren and Tammy, their campfire, their campfire is over behind that. Uh, brown chair there and they put it here and then they can run their wiring as you can see to the box there so that's <laughs> nothing's wrong with the campfire oh the arm's going off our um smoke detector on our trailer works really really good So that was dinner. It was fun. Was it good? Tastes good? Does? Tasted awesome. Time for bike ride. Maybe go see the sunset and then uh, campfire. I thought we were driving to get Oh, we're driving? Yeah, we're gonna go get ice cream. Later. That's why nobody comes here anymore, right? Eh? Yeah, we can come here. Even last year it wasn't this bad. This we is the worst I've ever seen. Yeah, we, we could come here. We could just stay right there. So we're down at the beach here, and uh, as you can see, this is like a public beach. We've been here last year before. And as you can see, the water level is so high on Lake Huron that there is no beach anymore. There's absolutely no beach to, to even see. Like, uh, you can't even stay here. So we were just thinking we came down here just to see the scenery, maybe thinking maybe tomorrow we can come down and try a different beach. But um, I don't know. It looks like we're going to stay in the park. Hi, Paul. We are back, and it is Hi. fire time. Yay! <laughs> Want a munch sugar? Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll let me explain. Share. So let him explain. there are three nights. We're, we're here for three nights, mm -hmm. and we decided before we came because... Whenever we have a campfire and we're playing music, it's always a battle between the kids wanting to hear music and adults wanting to hear music. Very true. So, yeah, so we decided tonight or this weekend, we're three nights. The first night, we'll listen to music, adults, and we did last night. Second night is tonight, which is the kids' night. They get to play music. And then the last night, which is tomorrow night, we're going to mix it. So, camping tip number two. Oh, I forget what, maybe one. I can't remember. So, these are uh, freshwater jugs that uh, they are six gallons each. One's mine, one's Darren. So this is the wagon we use. I'll tell you why we use the wagon, because each gallon weighs 8.3 pounds or something like that. Six gallons times two, that's 12 gallons, times that by eight. I'll put the answer up here. To carry these back a decent distance would uh, be a lot of work. A uh, good workout, but a lot of work. So. We use the wagon for that. And then, um, luckily, we our uh, location to our campsite doesn't have a far go to the uh, water tap. So 
I'll take this to the water tap and I'll show you what we do from there. So not all parts are like this, but just this one, in this case, it seems that we can actually use the wagon, keep them in the wagon. Sometimes we have to hold them in our hand, but we keep them in the wagon and just turn on the tap, uh, line it up. It's usually easier when there's two people when I get Darren to help me. Doesn't matter, I don't care if the wagon gets wet. And it'll dry quick. And we just turn it on and we let it fill up. And when that's finished, we turn it around and we get this one and we do the same thing with that one. Takes a while, but um, it's worth it. Now, the reason we do this is because even though we have a 48 gallon uh, fresh water tank, being here for three or four days, everyone taking showers, you know, a family of four and stuff like that, doing dishes and stuff like that, you still go through a lot of water. So we have to fill this up. Uh, there is other solutions. So there you have it. We have uh, 100 pounds. That's what the answer was, 100 pounds almost of uh, fresh water. And uh, I'll show you how easy it is to hook up. Now, keep in mind, apparently Ontario Parks is slowly supposed to be uh, uh, changing their campsites to uh, water hookup, but that could take a decade or more. Okay, so with it being six gallons and uh, about 50 pounds, a little bit heavy. So why we get this one, this one's from Canadian Tire. It's called uh, Reliance. So it has a spout and the spout fits perfectly into most uh, trailer um, freshwater hookups or not hookups, just the uh, freshwater tank outlet or inlet or whatever it's called. So we use that and uh, it goes really quick. You can do six gallons probably in what, under 30 seconds? It's like a, a pit stop, about a minute. So without a doubt, one of the best things about camping is Hi, Megan. It's not Megan. It's uh, campfires. And with the campfires, having dinner open over an open flame, nothing gets better than that. So as tradition continues, so as the tradition continues, we're going to do it up right the last night, and we're going to have a dinner with a twist. We usually just do hot dogs, sometimes hamburgers and stuff like that. But you will notice that there's something there okay i was gonna keep it a surprise but you guys don't want to keep it a surprise so this is what it is first is just cheese over there though. this is che that's this has cheese beef and jalapenos. this is beef and uh jalapenos for not me this is my side here and there is the spread darren and his uh i'm saving corona corona you can't say corona you're gonna demonetize me and as we're all having a nice campfire friendly you know or friendly campfire dinner Darren over here being anti-social with his hibachi doing it up regular style so so unoriginal Darren So how are they? The beef is good. Yeah, the beef is good. Oh, Quincy's is trying beef. Do they taste like any other different kind of nachos? They're good. Better than home. Jacks, are you gonna have some? Of course. As long as you guys don't pass out, I will have some. Food on an open fire yeah, always tastes right different now. Okay. than at home. Dad, I'll try it right now. Okay. Um, I need to get into the condiments though. Are you good? So everyone else has tried it. I'm going to give it a try right now. This is uh, Tammy's. It's a three cheese, just cheese nachos. Mmm. This is the best nachos I've ever had. Good nachos. Now I'm going to try Julie's. This one is not a cheese, not a three cheese, but uh, ground beef, jalapenos, which I'm not having. I'll let you know how these are. Those are good too. These are very, very good. As I'm telling you guys and I'm talking to you guys and stuff like that here, sorry to talk with my mouthful. They're back there making fun of me. Sorry, I had to chew first, but I didn't want to talk my mouthful and be rude. 
But you know what? This is what camping is all about. You can try different things. You don't have to have hamburgers and hot dogs, even though we did hot dogs, or, or the normal camping things. You can tr try different things. Like experiment. You have an open flame. You have a travel trailer with a full stove and everything and a hibachi and everything like that for most campers. But So you can try different things. This is not a sponsored ad, but uh, <laughs> Tammy is addicted to 40 Creek oh, yeah. rum cream or whiskey cream. So we're uh, enablers tonight. Cheers. 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 To your liver, Tammy. <laughs> So we're at this point. It's like a, a little east, I guess, yeah, east of the beach where we were. And there's a sunset going on, but it's a little time, so you're not gonna be able to see the sunset. Darren's, uh, Darren led me here, flying, lost him a couple times. That's just Darren. That's what? Where? Where? So it is another evening and um, these guys are crazy enough to go for an evening swim. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. We had a nice sunset. We had a nice sunset going on there earlier. Uh, we got the drone up. Did you guys see the drone? Yes. Was I just waving? No, I couldn't, I couldn't make you guys out. I thought you guys were sitting there. Oh, yeah. yeah, Darren and I took a nice bike ride over to the uh, point. Uh, there was uh, 50 people there so we uh, got out of there real quick. And now the kids are in there, and it's got that ominous background of storm behind them there. This is what happens when you have an infestation of caterpillars one month, and then the next month, it's all butterflies everywhere, or moths. They're not butterflies. Mo moths. Oh, one just dropped to the ground. Gypsy moths, gypsy moths. They're all falling down. I think you actually did a good job. <laughs> yeah, now, in five minutes, they'll all return. Ready? Look. They all <laughs> oh, you're gonna break your LED lights. I'm not LED no, they all just dropped. When you did it along there, they dropped. They were all here. You're banging the crap out of your trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a mother. That's the one I want on Abby. You get him? Probably. Darren, he's on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> he squashed him. Either suffering or... I think got a mouth full of bugs there. <laughs> you should have had your mouth closed. You got rid of most of them. Mouth? Now they're all in the corner there. They're off the very top. As fast as you swipe, sweep them, they move to the other side. <laughs> this is literally five minutes later. I don't know if you can they're see. All they're all back. <laughs> oh, now he's got his uh, offspring helping him out. And uh, Darren's... Uh, Whoa, 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 you almost hit the camera. <laughs> so Darren's put the little bug zapper here. Oh, and they're, they're zapping already. Look at that. Go, do it again, do it again. So he, about 15 minutes ago, he put the the zapper out there and they're all around his trailer. Now they're not at the top, but now they're on the bottom. They're like just all congregated around there. So it is uh, <laughs> the last morning and it's pouring rain as you can see, like it is uh, coming down pretty heavy. And of course we have to dump our uh, black tank and our gray tank, so this is fun. <laughs> and let me show you, that is the lineup. There is three people ahead of me. That's Darren right there. <laughs> He's finished I guess. He's just going to leave us. Oh, that's super. <laughs> Okay, we're on our way home now, and it is dark. It is 11.30 in the morning, almost midday, and this is how dark it is. It's like, the lights are all on. It's it's dark. We're in a wicked storm. I don't know if you can hear me with all the rain pelting down. It's a pretty bad storm that we're driving through, so we're taking it easy, uh, and 
we can barely see maybe 30 feet in front of us. <laughs> We're doing the best we can. We'll get home eventually. I'm starving. And there's lightning going off. And there's a tornado watch in London. Which is, which is nowhere near here. Okay. Don't pass the guy in front of you. Well, I'm telling you, he's dangerous with this stick. I was gonna hit him off and then say bang shot. Run like Abby, do a bay watching. <laughs>